back to the channel. Safe to say that Southwest Autosport was a fantastic show. Thank you for all the attention that was given to my car. Believe me, I had crowds around it at one point, but it's far from a standard Fiesta, as you can see. Now then, plans need to go forward for the next car show. Does it look like I caught the sun a little bit yesterday? I was not expecting that. Come on, this is England. We don't get sun. <laughs> right then, anyway. Um, we need to start thinking about the next car show. I want to do something a little bit different. For a while now, you can see that my theme is very much blue, gloss black and red. Under the bonnet sorted. You saw that at Southwest Autosport. As you follow me on Instagram, you know very much that that's very tarted up under there. So I need to start looking now towards the interior. And the best place where I'm gonna start, I believe is the boot. It's a very bog standard boot. It's got my Vibe Slick, 1050 watt sub in it. The amp is hidden underneath. I've got a summit strut brace to keep the back end in check. That's actually probably one of the better mods that I've done handling wise to this car. The front one, I noticed I didn't, well, I didn't notice a thing really when that got slapped on. As Soon as the back one went on, I noticed an improvement in the handling straight away. So if you're going for practical strut bracing, the ones that I've got in the car so far are the front top mounts and the back top and I've noticed a bigger difference in the back than I have the front. So much more stable going in the corners. But anyway, so yeah, as you can see, nothing really exciting going on in here. Just me strut brace and all these boring plastics. I'm gonna rip them all off and I am just gonna sand them back and I wanna gloss black them up. I want to take my Summit strut brace, a nice bright red colour, to make it liven out the boot. If I get time, I'm going to start looking at making a false floor for a sub. I'm still indecisive whether or not I want to keep my rear seats in. If I take them out, I'll flap deck the whole lot and look towards a roll cage. That way, my Summit strut brace will nigh on be redundant and I'll probably put it up for sale. So keep an eye out for that if I do go down that route. Um, so yes, I'm very indecisive of whether or not I want to take my rear seats out. Taking the rear seats out, yes, it's good for shows, but the practicality disappears. Well, to be fair, I don't have any friends. <laughs> so the rear seats don't get used often anyway. So I'm not really too worried about them, but it's just, yeah, I'm unsure. So let's start taking this thing apart. To get these black plastics off a lot of people remove them for when they do a rear wiper delete there's your rear wiper motor there and you just remove all of this when you uh, take the wiper arm off and then you put your new panel on because um, yeah body shops do it or you can get them from lead performance um, so yeah if you want to take it off you got one screw in the side panels on each side and then they just literally just pop off You've got one screw inside of your hole here where you pull your handle. The rest is literally just clips in the back. Don't be scared to give it a damn good tug. No, my luck now, I've probably broken half of the tabs on the back because that's how I roll. But yeah, you can tell Ford definitely skimped on the paint when they paint these cars. Look here, nice and glossy. Look down here, it's all dull. So at some point, I'm debating when I do my rear wiper delete, because it is inevitable. It cleans the whole back up, lovely. Um, just to take it, the whole boot lid off and just spray it body color, because it should clean up really nicely. Look at 
Yeah. Looks like I got Mark come out to play today. Put too much pressure on your tyres. Well, it stays 37.7 PSI on the door, but it's it's very hard, mate. It seems, <laughs> seems very high for such a small car, like you know. Well, still looking clean from yesterday. Well, apart from the mud that's flat up the side when I've done a. Hey, I've got a bird poo on the side of my field. car already. <laughs> I, shouldn't, uh, I shouldn't have done the, the uh, dug it in first gear. No? It was a little bit too muddy, mate. A little bit too muddy. Can you tell I caught the sun a little bit. Yeah, yeah big true. Alright, park up then and let's let's have a play. Okay, so with a little bit of extra brute force and ignorance from Mark, we've got all the bits out that I wanted. Strap bracing's out, sides are out, jobs are good and bottoms out, ideal. Yeah, now we've got to spray it. Should be fun. There's enough there to be getting on with, but luckily I brought enough goodies with me. Days. Yeah, as I say, I'm going to take the stuff, mate. Sorry. Yeah, try not to <laughs> I wasn't even touching it. You break it, you board it. <laughs> I just looked at it. <laughs> right, so we're going to crack on with that. I can, because I want it a smooth finish, it's going to be a while on the old hand sanding before we do anything else really. Comment below if you think Harry needs to invest in like a DA or something. <laughs> he has all these good ideas and not a lot of tools. He also needs a uh, dual action polisher but he thinks I'm just trying to spend his money. You only just, you just want to use a blooming polisher. No, well, I can get one. <laughs> get one then. Then I can borrow one. Brando wants to buy one. <laughs> Okay, day two on the boot build. As it currently stands, I reckon this is going to be a part one video because no way are we going to have time to do what I intended to do with the sub. So now it's all down to purely focusing on cleaning up all the plastics. Oh, blimey, day two and I'm still that sunburn. Right. <laughs> um, and well, yeah, it's all coming along quite nicely. Strut brace has got a couple of coats of red on. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bore you guys all with the details because you know how to rub back plastic come the end of the day and primer and all that jazz. But yeah, we'll just keep you posted and this is just a little video just to show you all of how it's, how, how the car's coming along really. These tins, yeah, they're not the best, are they? I am gonna be investing in some tools soon. I know he's gonna be over the moon about it, yeah. but I'm just waiting on payday. <laughs> So it's about, I'm going to call this day four now into it because sadly I had to go back to work, my week off finished, so this little side project of mine had to go on hold. We finished, me and Mark finished spraying up the black plastics and I wasn't quite happy with the finish. It wasn't as smooth as I was expecting. Yes, I know we did it all by hand. So, I know shock, you don't need to comment now of what he said earlier. I actually did go out and buy myself a DA that runs off a compressor. The tank on my compressor here is a bit on the small side. Um, it took still a considerable amount of time for the tank to fill up, me to get these plastics back smooth. I've got um, some of them in gloss, in um, clear coat now, so three of the smaller pieces that are finished, they just need flat back and polishing. Like the back of the wiper motor, still needs doing along with the two bits that hold the parcel shelf in place. 
I've also gone out of my way and ordered a rear wiper delete, which I will be slapping on behind the panel because it seems a shame while it's not on there to not do that mod. Get a little bit of weight saving and smarten it up a bit. Not quite sure how much weight it will save, but we all know electronic motors do weigh a bit, so it should theoretically save a little bit of weight in the boot and on the car altogether. So I'm just waiting for that to come. <laughs> Okay guys, as you can tell from how the video is panning out so far, we are probably be about three weeks in now. It's gone to more than just tarting up the plastics. As you can see behind me back here, they're all ready to go back on the car. Looking very swish, may I add. While that was going on, I thought, well, while it was drying, I thought I'd order the rubber bung set as you see but when it came I wasn't 100% happy with the look or the outcome of it so as you can see here I've taken off the panel and yeah it just I just wasn't happy with it look how easy that came off in my hands it's ridiculous and that's built for purpose apparently you know it's quite pathetic to be perfectly honest and I normally am into bodging stuff but this time I thought I'd do it properly. So I was on the phone to uh, Mr Ross Laird as you guys may know from Laird Performance and he sorted me out a replacement panel so that one will be going back off up to Scotland to Mr Laird. Pay a deposit he sends down that one you pay the full sum Oh, sorry, you pay the full sum, you then pay a deposit, just in case you don't return this one, which I will return, may I add, and then you send this one back to him in the box that this one came in. So I'm going to show you now the new rear smoothed panel that I've got. You lose the Ford badge, all, of, all the gubbins, but I have noticed one little problem in my case of owning an ST3. So here you see the old against the new. The quality of finish on that is absolutely superb. I generally take my hat off to them. But if you look underneath, can you spot something? There's my old one. There's my new one. Can you spot something? Yeah. That's right. There is nowhere for me to put my reversing camera. See, I've got an ST3 with the additional option extra. Optional extra of the... Uh, reversing camera and now I need to get brave and try and work out where to cut or to glue or something to uh, get this all to work and uh, line up because it's all um, sealed in down here whereas I reckon I could have split that one back there because there's a line to uh, get it all to fit in so yeah maybe I didn't make myself clear on the phone Damn, that's going to take a little bit of modifications now. Oh well, here we go then. Let's send it. Okay guys, so as you can tell, this video has been filmed over several weeks of work. I do have a day job as well. But the car has finally been put back together. From the first snippet of this little vloggy styled video... Um, you could see that it, we started near enough the day after Southwest Autosports. That's like two, three weeks ago now. Um, due to me waiting on parts, waiting on equipment and stuff like that, because doing this by hand was not a small feat. So I invested in a DA as an example. Uh, well, yeah. It's all put back together, so let's have a look. Please 
please excuse the state of my boot. As I say, it is still my daily. But you can see from the dull old plastics that it was before, it does look a hell of a lot smarter being in gloss black. A hell of a lot smarter. And the reason this took so long to go back on was because at first I was waiting on the bung kit to come in. Um, but when I fitted the bungs, I thought it looked really, really tacky. So in the end, I did end up picking up the phone to Lair Performance and buying their smoothed panel. I did have to slightly modify it to take my camera. Uh, it only involves me making a little stencil and cutting out a hole. But yeah, all in all, it was fairly straightforward swap of all the gear. But I'm really, really happy with the outcome of it. Sadly, I didn't get enough time to sink my sub into the floor. I was really happy with how this turned out and how it... It's not really showing that red in this video, but it is like a letterbox red. You can see it just back there, really, but it looks orangey on camera. Don't know why, I just think it's my camera. But as I was saying, I was really happy. That's better, it's in focus now. I was really happy with how that turned out, the gloss black against the red. So I took my front strut brace out and with some paint on clear coat that I had left over from the rear one, well, you can see, I sprayed this one red as well. And it has come out superb. It does need the flatting and polishing as that is still very, very wet. But it won't be long before that's dry and I can move it back into the workshop. But yeah, I am very happy with how that turned out. As I was saying, guys, I'll probably build a false floor at another date. The perks of spraying your interior of your car is because you can drive around with panels missing out of it and you can take your time on it. That's one of the good things about doing this. You can take your time in doing anything on the inside of your car within reason. Not like a steering wheel or something like that, you need that. <laughs> but yeah, any plastics like this you want to tart up, you can take your time on it. You can generally take your time on it. So that was uh, that's why this video has taken so long to go up. It's because I wanted it done properly. I wanted to take my time on it. I wanted it to look smart because I don't like having crap on my car, essentially. Many people can and will question that because <laughs> that's people for you. But no, um, <laughs> but thanks again, guys. I hope you like what you see. As I say, this is just a little catch up. Um, of me tarting up my boots. And the next thing I will probably do interior wise will be the cockpit area. I want to take those dials, not the dial itself, but the around the speedo, I want that going red. I want the silver bit around the steering wheel going black and I want the all of the dull plastics down the middle going gloss black to match in with the uh, stereo surround so that's probably what i'll be working on next when it comes to spraying i just want it to look clean but anyway enough of me waffling thanks for watching guys muchly appreciated if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button i've got some nice mods planned coming up soon this is more of a gap filler in my video content but as i keep saying cheers guys do appreciate your support Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you all soon. Ta-ta.